I'm back and I'm about to start a new video series as I complete a 90 day transformation challenge. But for those of you who don't know me, here's a quick introduction. I'm Marin. I've been on YouTube for a few years experimenting with different formats of video and different topics. I'm a barista, a yoga teacher, a university student, and a meditation and mindfulness coach. And I've spent the last few years steadily gaining weight due to repeated efforts to quit smoking and frankly, eating too much as a result. But now, after almost a year smoke-free, I finally feel like I'm in a place to really zero in and focus on my diet and fitness again. And that focus begins now. I've joined Pro Physique's 90 Day Transformation Challenge. A challenge put on a couple of times a year by Paul Ravella, who is a bodybuilder and a physique coach. And unlike most fitness challenges, this is not a weight loss challenge. The winners are chosen based on total transformation, including the mental and emotional transformation. In the past, there's been some amazing winners who have lost a lot of weight, but there's also been winners who haven't ended up completely shredded. Throughout the process, I'll be learning about tracking my diet using macros and a flexible dieting approach, as well as learning new exercise regimens. I'll also be vlogging the process as I go along. I'm in my first week now, and so far, it's been amazing. Here's where I've started as of July 10th. And so far, I'm planning my meals, I'm getting in some good weight training days, and I've been doing some really fun cardio. I'm already feeling stronger, and I'm really excited about the next 90 days. As an overview, here's what I'm gonna be doing. Number one planning my meals for the week using macros and flexible dieting. I'm going to go into more detail about this in next week's video, but this is probably one of my favorite parts about this program. I really like planning things, so this is kind of up my jam. Okay. Number two, I'm going to be swimming as my chosen form of cardio, and at the moment that is happening twice a week. As a matter of fact, I went earlier today uh, for a great swim workout. I swam 2,000 meters, which is a personal best for me. When I first started swimming, I don't think I could go 100 meters without needing a really long rest. So for me to be at 2000 uh, without needing to stop on the wall is really fantastic. I pretty much dislike most forms of cardio with the exception of swimming, walking, or yoga. So this is gonna be right up my alley. Swimming is such a great way to get in some really relaxing cardio that is extremely low impact. I have plantar fasciitis in one of my feet, so walking for any distance uh, is really out of the picture for me right now. Swimming is one of the few activities that I can actually do without pain. Plus I love it. There's always some way that you can either learn how to go faster or improve your stroke technique um, do, and doing different strokes. You're not just stuck doing one thing like with running, you're just running. Right? With swimming, you could do different strokes. You could do front crawl, you could do breaststroke, backstroke, uh, butterfly, which I have yet to learn, but I am working on. There's a lot of variety and it keeps me interested. Number three, I'm weight training. So I'm weight training four days a week. I do two leg days, two upper body days, and this a core day. I'm really enjoying the workout so far and Yes, I have been a little bit sore, but nothing like the soreness I've experienced in the past doing other workouts. And it's another, it's another way, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I really like exercises where I can feel strong and weight training is definitely one of those. I'm either adding reps or adding weights almost every week right now. And yeah, it really makes me feel like I'm going in the right direction. And number four, I get one full day of rest every week. That's no cardio and no weight training and no step goals either. So if I just wanna sit on my couch all day and recover, I can do that. Um, odds are I'll probably be up and about doing things, but if I wanted to sit on the couch, I could. Rest is very, very important, especially when you're taking on um, a lot more activity than you're accustomed to. You need your body to be able to recover. Rest is one of the best ways you can do that. I have some really fun videos planned over the next 90 days, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on that notification bell, and make sure that you don't miss a single one. Oh yeah. 
you'll have to watch the next one if you want to know how this week went. Bye!